Hello, I'm Dennis Lopez and we are at La Toro, Colorado. The first people to come in this area were the Native Americans who used the mountain passes to get from the San Luis Valley over to the western slope. As the Native Americans traveled these areas and these trails, they were the first to discover nuggets of gold and silver and were able to gather those in order to make their own uh, jewelry. Following that, in the 1850s, the first people that were up here were the Hispanic people that were the inheritors or the grantees of Conejos Land Grant. They came up here to explore grazing for their sheep and cattle. As the shepherds explored the area and used the river as a resource, they too found nuggets of gold and silver. Then in 1859, the first gold discovered in Colorado was in central Colorado in the Cripple Creek area. And as miners then scattered throughout the Colorado mountains looking for more gold, many came to this area because of the legends that they had heard about gold being discovered here. So the miners came up and did what's known as placer mining, which is what the Spanish settlers were doing, which is panning for gold. And placer is a Spanish word placer, meaning at your leisure, at your pleasure. And they took their time doing the mining. There was no exploration into the mountainside simply because they did not have those metal tools to dig that far into a mountain. In the 1870s, the first mine was called the Merrimack Mine. It started the first silver rush and gold rush into this area. As the many miners came in, there was no lodging for the miners, so the first town called Platora was established and it was a tent city. Then in 1888, the next big discovery was on the Mammoth Mountain called the Mammoth Revenue Mine. That mine was owned by the Union Mining Company. The Mammoth Mine turned out to be the largest producing mine in this entire area. The Mammoth Mine was producing gold and silver. The gold was what's called telluride gold and the silver was silver tellurium. Between 1889 and 1906, the Mammoth Mine produced about a quarter of a million dollars in gold and silver. So the modern resort town of Platoro of today is a result of the mining gold rushes that occurred. The first mining gold rush was in 1888 with the Mammoth Mine behind us. The next one was in 1913 with another Mammoth Mine west of town. And then the third and final was back here at the Mammoth Mine in 1959. So today it is a resort town, but its roots are in mining. Today, Platoro is a majestic resort mountain village in the beautiful San Juan Mountains. Tourists come here to escape the congestion and the noise and the pollution of the cities and come to enjoy the beauty of this area. The Platoro Valley Lodge also has a cafe, cabins, and laundry. So there are plenty of amenities so that people can come and enjoy their stay in Platoro, Colorado. Today, people come to Platoro to fish in the gold metal fisheries of the Conejos River, its tributaries, and nearby lakes. They come to hike. They come to go on horseback riding excursions. They ride ATVs through the mountain trails. And in the fall, hunters come to hunt for deer and elk and enjoy the beautiful weather, the scenery of the aspen changing of the leaves. So it is because of these things, the beauty, the history, and the serenity is why Platoro continues to exist today. This video was created by the Sangre de Cristo National Heritage Area as part of their work to preserve the history and share the stories of our community. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video.